You know you're allowed to meet with us. Glenn and I always, I promise you, and it's, it's almost as if there's this <laughs> invisible wall between us and clients. Glenn and I always beg Literally, creative, we right? beg, yeah, we beg to meet the, the, the brand managers so that we understand the brand intrinsically. Why now? Timing is everything. What is behind the product that you're selling? Why this specific product as opposed to your other products? Why our show specifically? We always, always beg to meet the creatives, to meet the agencies, so that we can get a better understanding. Because if, if, if I know more about the competition, I can speak about it, say, as if it's second nature. But if a listener can hear me reading, they r automatically distance themselves. So for me, it's always a case of always try and meet the team that you're working with so that we fully understand what you want us to sell. There's no A4 piece of paper that's going to give us anything more than you can because you have been living this product for a good six months before it gets to, to on air. And if it is a case of, you know, I'm a Kaiser Chiefs girl, but if I have to push a, a Pirates thing, when I meet with Brahmiki, the PR agents from, from, from Pirates, he's so passionate about it. It's infectious to me. So instead of me saying, you know what, I love pirates because everyone's going to know that's a lie. I'm going to say, I look forward to meeting pirates on Saturday at the Derby because I'm cheese and I want to prove this guy wrong, which is also creating camaraderie amongst the pirates fans. There's always a way around something, whether we like it or not. It's not about, you know, I like heels and I have to sell all stars. I'll make it work. Invest more time in it. If, if you're going to be given a campaign that's worth six million, it's not going to kill you guys to spend an extra hour with each team. It's that, it's that paramount. It's that competitive. It's that immediate. Because honestly, if, if, you, if you want it to be the best campaign of the year, of the fiscal, you've just got to invest in it a little bit more and find out. Half the time, you guys are meeting with a sales team who, granted, are very, very experienced in selling um, the, the, the physical commodity, but they're not, they're not experienced in selling the, the idea, the, I, the, the ideal, the fantasy, and that's where it, it sort of sometimes loses momentum because you guys have a great understanding with the agency and the sales guys, and this is how it's going to work and all of that stuff, and then we say, mm, but this is going to be boring to the consumer. Can we find that? You need to have these conversations. It's, it, it saddens me with how much these conversations don't have because you're almost trusting us with just a piece of paper, and I mean, b words mm. written are very different to you interpreting them to me directly with passion so I get an intrinsic understanding of how you want to sell this, never mind why you want to sell it. It's just, that, mm. that for me is one of the saddest things in, in, in advertising where there's always a, a wall where we can't engage and tell you, this is going to be boring. If, you, if you're selling something, also we find that you know, you want to sell something and it's all about the heart sell and, and this is what it is and all that stuff, it usually bores our listeners. You know, they don't, want, they don't want that. So rather find a smarter way of giving them that information, whether it's through a website or social media and all of that stuff, or through live reads or ads. But when it's competition time, don't have a five-question Q&A asking the consumer to tell you about your product. You've lost them completely. God, no, yes, You've got to make it fun, and you've got to <laughs> twist it up and, you know, yeah. Yeah. still disseminating that information.